Can you make your own soft shackle for forward drive recoveries? Well, I made my own soft shackle and it broke. Let me show you guys what happened. All right, so I'm just here at Perth Lifting Equipment. They have the fancy gear necessary to actually test these things. So uh, let's see how they go. So all going to plan, you would think this goes about 25 ton, eh? If it gets over 20, I'll be stoked, but we'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> Okay, well, we're just getting up to 15 ton. And so far, so good. Yep, there we go, 15 ton. Let's see what this thing can handle. So if it gets anywhere past 20 ton, I'm gonna be stoked. We're just about to get to 20 ton. Awesome, still holding. So anywhere past now, it can break, and I'm pretty happy with that. But let's see what it gets up to. I'm so curious. Oh, 24 ton. You can hear it making some noise, so it can't be too far off it. 25 ton, far out. It's 26 ton, that's nuts, man. 27, whoa. <laughs> oh, that's like 26 point something. That's nuts. So, so far, both of the soft shackles made out of the um, 12 mil Dyneema have held up to around 26 tons, somewhere around there. So what about if you use a really cheap, cheap Dyneema? What happens then? Let's find out. Yeah, so one got the 26, one got the 20. Well, that's probably 26 as well, actually. Well, there you go, guys. Now we've got three broken shackles and some results. If you ever need something broken, come and see Paul at Perth Ring Equipment. He'll break it for you. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> No worries. I've got to say, I was super impressed with how these shackles held up and even how this cheap shackle held up. Can't wait to go look at the footage. For this test, I made three soft shackles. Now, these two are made out of 12 millimeter Dyneema that's rated to 17 tonne. This one here was made out of the cheapest winch rope that I could find. If you do a Google search for winch rope, you'll probably work out which one I bought. Now, I don't have the official results back yet because I only tested it last Friday, but by the time I make this video, I will. So this one here uh, was the first one that I made and I followed all the right principles for making it. I tapered the ends inside. I tensioned the nut after I made it. And this one broke at whatever's on the screen right now, around 26 ton. Now this second one here, after I made it, I didn't tension the knot up. I just tightened it as much as I could. And I also didn't taper the ends inside. Actually, I might just show you guys what I mean with tapering the ends. Just give me a sec. I've pulled out the ends just to show you guys. So this one here is tapered. What that virtually means is you cut some of the strands so that it has a nice taper to it. This one here wasn't tapered. Now, when you don't taper it, this is quite a sharp edge. So when it's inside the rope, it could actually cause wear and tear inside the rope, which should cause it to fail one day. Obviously not initially, because for this test, it still broke at the end, but over time it could cause it to fail. So it is a good idea to taper the ends. So even though this one wasn't made properly and the knot wasn't tensioned after it was made, it still held up to whatever's on the screen right now, around about 26 tons. Now this one here, didn't even know what the winch rope was rated to because they didn't say because that's how dodgy it was. But this one still held up to whatever's on the screen right now, I think it was around 16 tons, which is pretty insane. Like that's still a fairly good soft shackle. So can you make your own soft shackles? Well, it virtually comes down to how good you are at tying knots because the Dyneema itself, as long as you get rated Dyneema, you know it's rated. And as a general rule, they usually seem to hold about one and a half times the strength of whatever the Dyneema is rated to. So this one here, rated to 17 ton and it broke around 26, about 1.5 times its rating. So pretty impressive stuff. I was quite blown away at how well they held up. So can you make your own soft shackles? 
Sure, give it a shot if you want to. I guess the question is you don't really know what they're going to be rated to. But if you are interested in making your own soft shackles, I'm going to do a video showing you guys how I made these, so that'll be coming up soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It was awesome fun destroying these shackles, and we'll catch you guys in a different video. Seek adventure!